I can do, sir, please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging. Please. 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 That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I'm not. What do you know? I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse. I don't know you. Spit me on my face right now. She spit in my face. Today's video takes us to beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Not to the show, girls. Not to the gambling tables, but rather to the dark confines of the Clark County Detention Center, also known as the Dungeon. Chili's hearing has been vacated by the judge. Best news I've had this year, other than Chili going to jail. Let's all sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> from here's the deal stepping in for delete laws i just wanted to go live for a very short time just to give you an update this is from our nevada judges i don't know who runs this website i don't know who runs their twitter page and all their social media but they say in a in a minute order entered today judge mitchell or michelle mitchell levitt summarily denied chili motion for bail tomorrow's event and live stream link will be updated to reflect the date and time of oral arguments. So it says the court having reviewed the motion for bail or in the alternative for own recognizance release does hereby deny appellate's request for bail. The hearing scheduled for tomorrow, April 10th, 2024 is vacated. Now this live stream is still going on. We have Craig Henry on there putting his two cents in. He's another one that needs to be in jail for a while. But the moral to this story is don't think you know everything. Don't think you know you're a constitutional law scholar when you know you're not. You're nothing, man. You're less than zero. Now what I want to know is all that money you collected, over $42,000 that I can see, are you going to refund that money to people? Oh, no. You'll keep it under some premise, won't you? Some kind of story you'll make up where you need that money. You're a grifter. Let's take a look at the original video when Chili was found guilty and went to jail. And then we'll take a look at his appeal that was denied when he appeared in court in shackles and in tears. Yeah, because I'm never going to get tired of watching these videos. Roll those clips. All right, Jose Castro, 23CR01315. Good morning, Your Honor. Agnes Patel, 23CR01315. Good morning, Your Honor. Jose Castro, 23CR01315. Good morning, Your Honor. Agnes Patel, 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 23CR01315. Good morning, Your I need Mr. DeCastro and everybody else who wants to stay in the courtroom to surrender their phones. Or you can leave. Are your phone helping or not? Take one or you can have I need Mr. DeCastro to empty all of his pockets. What's that? Empty yeah, your, your pockets, pockets and give up your phones to the judge. Okay. I have to give you my phones? Yeah. My phones have to be completely off? Yep. Yeah. I don't really want to be part of your okay. YouTube channel. Sorry. You already are. Great. Right? You already are. Awesome. No. I'm not going to get into this guy though. I'll give him some else. No, no, they're going to go to my marshal. He's, he's a pig. Excuse me? I said he's a pig. Okay. So I'm not going to permit you to speak to anybody in my courtroom in that manner. And if you don't want to apologize, I'm going to hold you in contempt. I apologize to the court, Your Honor. No, you can apologize to. They've done nothing to you. Actually, Your Honor, when you were here, you came over and gave me a directive for no reason and started telling me what to do. Okay, well. I, I have all the respect and love for the court. I follow the rule of law all the time. I no, it is it is their their job to maintain the safety and security of the court. I agree with you, Your Honor. So, if you want to speak like that in my courtroom, I'm going to hold you in contempt. And if I hold you in contempt, you're going to jail. That is not my wish. Okay? I wish you All right. 
So I need to you to empty your pockets too. Suit pocket, pants pocket. This is this is illegal. This is, this is a violation of my Fourth Amendment. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. I don't have any recording devices on me. What are you talking about? How about suit jacket? <laughs> I don't have anything on me. This is preposterous. No, this not. really is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Mr. your phone too. Oh. They're recording everything. <laughs> they have they have a media request. Right, and I'm I'm not recording anything. Did that your your guy here took my phone, so he's on his phone's not on. Right. You can take the lawyer's phone too? No, I'm not going to take the lawyer's phone. He's an officer of the court. All right. Do we have everybody's phones? Are they off? All right. Good. All right. So within the first couple of minutes here, Chili's managed to offend the judge, offend the police, and probably offend his mama. Yeah, Chili, you better watch it because you'll be held in contempt of court. Well, it plays out even better than that. Let's keep rolling the clip. All right, this is the time set for the trial of State of Nevada versus Jose, Jose De Castro, 23 CR 013015. Is the state ready to proceed? Yes, we are, Your Honor. How many witnesses do you have? We just take one. All right, is the defense ready to proceed? Yes, Your Honor. All right, I have your request to convert counsel to standby counsel. I'm going to deny that request. Um, either you represent him or he. He should have previously requested a forensic canvas to represent himself. That I just consider that a delay tactic, so that request is denied. Are you ready to proceed otherwise? I'm assuming you are. Yes, sir. All right, let's see. And we're not going to listen to the entire proceeding. I'll put a link in the description box if you want to watch the entire thing for yourself. But look at the smart ass look on Chili's face. Oh, he's real smug now. But about 90 minutes from now, he's not going to be so smug. Let's go ahead and jump ahead a bit. One hour later. All right, Paul Jose De Castro. Yeah. You solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, sir. Please be seated. Mr. Castro, before you testify, I'm obligated to inform you that you have the right to testify in this proceeding, but you also have the right to remain silent. And should you choose to remain silent, I may not hold that against you in making my decision. Do you understand that? I do. Do you still wish to testify? Yes, I do. All right, please go ahead. Do you have a YouTube channel? Yes, I do. Can you um, give some insight into what that channel is about? Objection, relevance. What's the relevance? Your Honor, the relevance is that we're presenting a First Amendment defense, and the defendant is a member of the press. Um, there, there's different standards for First Amendment rulings where there is public policy at issue. Um, he, he can give insight into that. I'm going to allow it for a bit and see where it goes. Yes, I do have a first. I, I do have a YouTube channel, and the reason I have a YouTube channel is because of how many cops kill people every year, how many cops hurt, maim, torture, rape, and kill people every single year. It's such an epidemic that the rest of the world, I get thousands of emails saying, "Only in America does this happen." I started filming cops because when I was cheated in 2002, objection and nobody, at this point. Uh, relevance. Well, this is the British Freedom Member of the Press. This narrative. So, so, can you ask him a question? Yes, Your Honor. What type of films do you make for your YouTube channel? I only film police in their official capacity. I'm known across the country and across the world. Oh, you pompous twit. I'm known all over the world. Yeah, for being a jack wagon. No doubt about it. But let's listen in some more, shall we? And why uh, do you engage in that type of filming? So I'm going to Relevance. ask you, Mr. Me, to direct your questions about the incident in question. The reason I was filming this report that day? Objection, Your Honor. Oh, oh sorry. So there wasn't a question posed, so oh, I was not what he was Mr. Saying. DeCastro, um, on the day in question, why did you approach that vehicle? I was filming that cop because that's what I do for a living. I am a member of the press, and I invoked my right to be press 
in, I always invoke my right to be pressed within the first 10 seconds of engaging with police, and I have thousands of videos that prove this. So this is how you make money? This is not how specifically I make money. I make money from selling legal documents to people. Okay, go ahead. Now wait a minute, Chili. You want us to believe that you make your money from selling indestructible trifles? Uh, according to Social Blade, you're making a shitload of money. Let's say those figures are way off and you only make one third of that. That's still a sizable amount of money. But you want us to believe you make all your money from selling books and trifles online? Right, sonny boy. We were born at night, but it wasn't last night. How stupid do you think we are? And the judge is smarter than you. Do you recall the officer telling you to back up? Yes, I do. And what did you do after he told you to back up? I took a couple steps back. I just showed him that I was willing to back up a little bit. However, if I may, in Arizona, they created a 10-foot law. Objection. Relevance. We're not in Arizona. It's the state of the battle. So I'm going to allow it because I think that goes to why he kept saying 10 feet in the video, even though... Um, I will take judicial notice that you're not in the state of Arizona, you're in the state of Nevada. Well, a federal judge struck it down, Your Honor, and... Stop. Can you ask me a question? Yes, Your Honor. Um, approximately how many feet did you back up? I backed up a foot or two. I was at least 10 feet away from that car that the driver was pulled over in. And when you spoke to the driver, what did you say? Just after she was okay. But the reason I filmed police is because they abuse people so often. Do you recall the officer telling you not to speak with the driver? Yes. And did you uh, make any statements to the driver after that command was given? Absolutely not. Did the officer ever give you a specific distance back up to? No, he didn't. If he did, would you have complied with that? Sure. Did you believe you were complying with the officer's commands? 100%. I also informed him I'm a member of the press and a constitutional law scholar that this is what I do. Now, just so we're all on the same page here, let's take a quick look at what got Chili into trouble into the first place. Roll that brief clip. Don't tell me what to do. Please go that way. Don't tell me what to do. Then let's just You're not my boss. I'm giving you a lawful order. Let's start walking now. Let's go. We're going this way. Are you going to put your hands on me now? Leave me alone. Well, this on. is a well, Don't touch me, dude. I'm just, I'm just, dude, I'm just, I'm just standing here. I'm escorting you I'm to where you need to go. Are you guys going to surround me? Leave me alone. I'm escorting you to where There's you no need to go. There's no reason to do this. I'm not trying to fight anybody. I'm There's not no victim here. Right There's no crime. You're just trying to dominate another Let's person. Just leave me alone. Okay, I can leave, but you don't have to walk up on me. So what's the emergency? Is there an emergency here? Somebody's dead, sir. Is that enough emergency But where are they at? Let's go. Where are they at? Where they at? Are they right here? Let's go. Do you recall the officer explaining to you why he decided to arrest you? There's several parts to the reason why he said he was going to arrest me. He said he was going to arrest me because I wouldn't turn my head a certain direction. If I didn't turn and face the car with my head, that he would place me under arrest instead of just giving me a ticket. Do you recall him explaining why he decided to detain you before he arrested you? He decided to obtain me because he said I was obstructing, which, from my understanding, is a physical act where I would have to get in the way. He said that the driver deserved privacy. I believe my First Amendment rights are not up for feelings. Did he explain to you that the basis of your detention was related primarily to the issue of privacy or the issue of you backing up? Well, I think from the officer's testimony, we can see that he's scared of the driver, scared of me, scared of everything. They teach them to be afraid of everything. So I had two cameras out. It's identified as a member of the press. I'm sorry, repeat the question. I, I want to get it specific for the record. Sure. Um, the question was, did the officer explain to you that the basis of your detention was because of you not backing up or because of the privacy issue of the driver? It was both. He said that told me to back up, I backed up a little bit, then he said, she deserves privacy, and then I told him to go get in your car, little doggy, and write your ticket. 
And at that point, his face turned beet red, and his veins and his neck stuck out because we were over 20 feet away. And you had to holler to hear each other because the wind was probably 30 miles an hour. Did you at any point um, attempt to hit any of the officers involved? No, absolutely not. Did you uh, intentionally swat any of the officers? Absolutely not. He was giving me unlawful commands. I should not have been detained after I identified as a member of the press. If he ever reached a hand out towards me, I wrestle and teach MMA and I have 30 years. So it's just a natural reaction as I'm retreating from somebody. If I may have put my hand up, as he said, as he testified himself, I certainly am a law abiding citizen. I don't break the law. So I would not have tried to assault an officer under any circumstances. Is it possible that uh, during the interaction there was inadvertent contact between you and the officer? Sure, he decided to go hands on with me when he was giving me unlawful commands. And there was absolutely no reason for it. I was willing to comply with anything he asked within reason because I don't want to have a fist fight with another street, with another man on the street. Do you recall the officer ordering you to go to his patrol vehicle? I do. And what did you do in response to that? Initially, I told him no, but then when he began to get physical with me and start to grab me and touch me, I said, okay, I'll go over to your car. His car was 35 feet away. I then led him to his car. It's on video, you can see it. I would walk right up to his car, and then he insisted still on grabbing me. After he saw me pull out an additional phone, which that's what press people do. We have lots of cameras on us. And did you inform uh, the officer that you were a member of the press? Oh, several times. There's, it's, in the, it's in the transcripts. I've transcribed them myself several times. I told him I'm a member of the press. And did you explain to the officer that um, you have a background in constitutional law? Yes, I told him I'm a constitutional law scholar, which was a moniker given to me by other people who are also, they have their own channels, their own press, and that's what some other lawyers on another channel called me three years ago. So let me get this straight, Chili. You're a constitutional law scholar because somebody else on a different channel said you are. You're so full of it. Let's roll a clip just to dispel that notion. I'm also a constitutional law scholar. I'm a constitutional law scholar, not a mathematician. So, okay. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm a constitutional law scholar. I'm a constitutional law scholar. Terry equals immediate detainment unless you're a constitutional law scholar. I'm broadcasting this message to my thousands of followers on YouTube. I'm a constitutional law scholar. You don't have to be smart. You don't have to be a constitutional law scholar. Focus on the numbers. You don't have to be a constitutional law scholar. Let me ask you something. So I'm a constitutional law scholar. You see, you see on the back of my, my Don't talk to them. You're not a constitutional law scholar. Yes, it is. Who's the constitutional law scholar? Who's the cop? You know, I, I'm a constitutional law scholar. I'm a constitutional law scholar. So I'm not going to follow a mandate because I'm a constitutional law scholar. Yeah, I'm a constitutional law scholar. I teach civil liberties. Why yours says elementary school, mine says constitutional law scholar. You're a clown, dude. I'm a constitutional law scholar. Uh, uh, a constitutional law scholar. Just to get some, I guess, further background. Were you looking for uh, police to report on this particular day? No. No, there's, the, the cops hide on the side of the road to pull people over. It's pretty regular in our country. I was just in the parking lot there. I saw that Mr. Bork had somebody pulled over. Concerned for her safety, I began to film. And why do you think um, that law enforcement traffic stops are relevant to the public? That's where most people get killed. Objection relevance. Who's doing that question? Who's right? Who's I'll pass the witness, Your Honor. Steve, I have no questions for this witness. Thank you. Sir, you may step down. Oh. This is Ben Trust. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Any argument by the state? Your Honor, the state uh, asks you to find the defendant guilty of both the instructing a public officer as well as resisting a public officer charged against him. Um, the video very adequately portrays, and I don't think it's disputed by the defendant. Um, the, what the context was of the interaction with the officer. 
Um, I would venture to say that had the defendant just complied with the original order to not engage with the driver and to back up, we wouldn't be here. He wouldn't have found himself further engaging with officer board. Um, this is not a First Amendment issue. Um, as you heard over and over and over again um, on, on the video, Officer Bork did not have a problem with the defendant recording. It was a, it's not a, it's not a first um, amendment issue. It's an officer safety issue. Um, here you have an officer who conducted a lawful traffic stop. You saw the nature of the stop. There was no animosity between the officer and the driver. It was rather peaceful. They were engaged, banter back and forth. Um, he would have, as he testified, he was trying to determine whether he was going to cite her or let her go with a warning. Um, and then you have an individual, the defendant, introduce himself to a situation. Traffic stops, Your Honor, are inherently dangerous, particularly in, in crowded parking lots. I guess anywhere, you know, I would venture to say. This officer had, was reasonable in thinking that anyone who would approach in the manner that the defendant approached um, this his scene, um, would have a reason to fear for his safety or at least be suspicious of this individual's motives coming in. The officer had no problem with the recording. The officer had no problem with the defendant observing. It was when he inserted himself into this lawful detention that was occurring with the Hyundai driver that the officer turned his attention onto the defendant. This is not a First Amendment issue. This is an individual who took his work, what he perceived to be his rights, too far. The officer was well within his right, as well as acting reasonably when he asked him to back up. That 21-foot rule, it, it, it's, it's appropriate. He said that was the training that they received um, in terms of the distance that's allowed for someone who needs to, to do them harm. It's a threat ass um, assessment. Um, we don't know when the defendant approached, whether he had a, a gun concealed, whether he had a knife um, concealed, whether he had other weapons. And you'll hear multiple times in the video, Officer Bork yelling, stop reaching, stop reaching. This is an unknown, you know, when defense counsel asked Officer Bork all of these questions about how it is that you do this, and Officer Bork kept responding, it depends on the situation, it depends on the totality of the circumstances. Here was an officer acting alone, individually, engaged one-to-one -one with a driver. Um, but he had no problem with it. You, have, you insert another individual who who enters the scene um, in the manner that the defendant did. Um, and now this officer's um, attention is gonna be divided. He had every reason to fear for his safety as well as, as that of the driver. I, again, if he had just complied with the officer's commands or demands to back up, and you know, a lot was made about, hey, he didn't have an opportunity to tell the, um, the defendant exactly how far back. As the officer testified, even just with the, hey, back up, the defendant didn't back up, not willingly. That's why the officer had to continue to engage with him and force him um, into this into the situation. Had he complied, he would not have been charged with obstruction. Had he complied initially, he would not have been charged with the resisting. The officer was, I mean, you are going to have to assess credibility. There's nothing in the video um, or, or Officer Board's testimony that would cause the court to question his veracity or his intention for that matter. Um, he was very honest in that he didn't believe the defendant wasn't trying to harm him necessarily with the squat. That's why the defendant wasn't charged with the battery on a, a, a protected person or a police officer. Um, but that squat, Your Honor, I would argue, was meant to resist. At that point in time, the officer was trying to detain him and subsequently arrest him on the on the obstruction um, as depicted in the video. And so at this point, I think we proved by um, beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant did hinder um, Officer Board's investigation um, and detention of the, of the Hyundai driver and that he resisted um, uh, the officer's um, arrest and um, or attempt to arrest him. And so we would ask that you find the defendant guilty of both. Thank you. We're not going to listen to Chili's long-winded attorney try to get him out of this because there is no getting out of it. He's guilty as charged. So let's skip to the sentencing phase because that's the good part. Roll that clip. A few minutes later. All right, Mr. Castro, please stand. The problem with 
the argument that your attorney makes is it completely fails to consider the safety of the officer and the safety of the driver. The officer doesn't know who you are, and the driver doesn't know who you are. And you don't have any right to interfere with that officer doing his investigation and deciding if he wants to issue a ticket to this driver. And you are also don't have any business approaching the driver. The driver didn't ask you for help. The driver didn't say, help, help, you know. You didn't see an altercation happening between the officer and this driver. Um, the officer didn't protest that you were filming. There's no problem with filming. You can film, it's fine, all right? But you did interfere with his investigation. You did interfere with his ability to do his job. You did put him in a position where he is concerned for his safety and the safety of the driver. So I believe the state's met their burden beyond reasonable doubt. I'm gonna find you guilty of obstructing a public officer and resisting a public officer. So I'd like to hear from the state and then your attorney prior to sentencing. Your Honor, in terms of sentencing, I would ask that the defendant enter and complete an impulse control class. I would ask that the court lobby a $500 fine or the equivalent in community service. I would ask that the defendant be ordered to stay out of trouble for the pendency of the case. And I would ask for a 90-day suspended sentence. And that's on as to each count to one concurrent. That's our request. Thank you. Take note that the prosecution is asking for a $500 fine in a 90-day suspended sentence in jail. And did you see the look on the judge when she said 90-day suspended sentence? The judge has something else in mind. Again, we're going to skip over the defense attorney. Let's get right to the crux of the matter. A few minutes later. When you say he doesn't wish to engage in any wrongdoing, it seems to me from observing him in the video that he wants, he wants this. He wants to get arrested. He wants to get into an altercation with police officers. He welcomes this. This helps his YouTube channel. He called the officers here in my courtroom today pigs. He called the, and he's not his head up and down. So apparently he hates every law enforcement officer in the United States. All right. Please stand up, sir. Are you finished with your request for credit for time, sir? Um, I would just emphasize, Your Honor, that the defendant testified and he sincerely believes that he is providing a public service um, when he reviews and films these incidents. Um, I understand the court may have a different view of that, but when we're talking about First Amendment public policy issues such as um, supervising uh, people involved in government, I, I think that is something the court can take into consideration, not to have a show effect on that. I'll spit on that, Your Honor. Mr. DeCastro, please stand. I hereby sentence you to 90 days in the Clark County Detention Center on count one, 90 days in the Clark County Detention Center on count two, to run consecutive for a total of 180 days in custody. Thank you. Sentence suspended or? Oh, no. I'm going to start right now. Thank you. Now that's the true walk of shame right there, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't get any worse than that. 
got his head down and he's walking back in torture cuffs and guess what they're gonna do they're gonna make him bend over spread his butt cheeks and look up there with a flashlight <laughs> yeah, I bet you gonna love that boy just to make sure he was in jail I checked at the Clark County website and there he is he's an inmate oh chili how embarrassing for you Perhaps Chili should have brought his indestructible trifold to court. That might have helped him out a little bit. He could have showed the judge. Now to finish up this video, let's take a look at a clip that got him into trouble. It's not the clip that just got him sent to jail for 180 days, but he has another hearing coming up for this video on May 1st. Uh, the lad just doesn't know when to shut his mouth. Let's roll that clip. Help you. you could just do your job, mind your own business. That's what you could do. Excuse me? I told you, i would say it again, you could mind your own business. I'm doing my job. I appreciate your time. But just, if I was you, I'd just shut your mouth so I don't put you in your place. That's what I'd do if I was you. I'd shut up. If I was you. Unless you want to look like an idiot on YouTube. We're still pretty close to the road, so let's push this out a little bit further. If you yeah. just keep going that way for me, I'm okay if you no, no. the video over there for Don't me, tell okay? me where to stand. I'm a constitutional law scholar. I'm suing you guys for $5 million. Mm -hmm. I'll sue you for $5 million more. Okay. You Hey, let's see if I have this right. A constitutional law scholar who's never won a lawsuit. Oh, and I'm telling you, Chili, you won't win the five million dollar ones either. See, he's got two five million dollar lawsuits filed in Las Vegas right now. They're gonna laugh him out of court. You don't have okay, a right I'm to not, tell me I'm, what to do. I'm just asking shut you to your stand over there. We're mouth. still doing it. And don't approach me. Shut your mouth. Sir, do you see the Shut your mouth and shut your mouth. Do you I'm your me? boss. Do you see the table you understand there? that? Well, shut your mouth. I'm walking down the street. Mind your own business. No, I'm just standing here. Is, if you hadn't we, approached me, sergeant. don't come behind me, Piggy. Okay. If, if if you hadn't approached me, I wouldn't. I don't give a damn what you are. You're not a sergeant. Shut your mouth. I'm here okay. doing my job. I'm a member of the press. I invoke my First okay. Amendment right. Okay. Now, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right, so don't ask me another question. Take three steps back, gentlemen. I'm not your suspect. Take three steps back from me. Okay. So there's crime scene Take over three there, steps back from me. Now, I'm so walking down the street. I can walk okay. anywhere I want. Sir, There's not crime scene right here. Scene. The crime tape would be over here then, wouldn't it, Dunce Cap? Speaking of Dunce Cap, you're a member of the press, huh? Who do you work for? Oh, that's right. He's an independent jack wagon. Chili, I would have loved to seen him behind bars. He was behind bars for 12 hours. I bet he didn't run his smart mouth while he was in there, did he? He probably hid in the corner somewhere and prayed nobody would jump on him. Oh, he needed his mommy. Sir, I guess you didn't graduate from high school, did you? There's tape right there, okay? We're just asking you to I don't give a rat's there. ass what you say. Do you understand that? Sir. I don't care what you say. I'm not breaking sir. any laws. Make it difficult. Okay. If you'd We're, mind your own damn business, we wouldn't be talking right now. If you hadn't opened your mouth, I wouldn't be talking to you. I'm, asking I'm just you're filming doing, this. And, uh, you're okay to film. I'm a member of the I'm press. I told to you I invoke my Fifth Amendment right. You have a right to ask me questions. You have your I got the First Amendment. What are the first five big freedoms of the First Amendment? You have your press I'm a constitutional law scholar, you dunce cap. What is it like sir, to be so stupid? I wonder what that's like. Right there, What's it like to be to a go. moron? You walk What's it like to not know sir, our rights? Correct him. Already, hey, correct him, sir. Correct this man. Explain to him uh, that this, he doesn't have a right. Don't sir, put your hands on him. I would love to talk to one of the prosecuting attorneys and see what their opinion is when he says, I'm a constitutional law scholar. Well, hey, constitutional law scholar, the Fifth Amendment is for when you testify in court. It's not for when you're standing on the street corner. Yeah, you invoke the Fifth Amendment in a court of law because you don't want to incriminate yourself, you stupid law professor. He walked across Are you going to run over and grab me? Are you going to run over and grab me? Are you going to run over? Sir, I don't, I'm walking down the street, Keep gentlemen. Walking. I have a right to film this. Keep you understand walking. that? I understand. I'm I have a right to film this. To if film you touch me, I will sue you. I'm more than talking to every time. Already, sir. You, I was walking down the street. I have a right to do so. Okay, but you, we are telling you that you need to your continue Your cop told me to walk over here. I have it on video. Okay, and I understand that. You're confronting me when you should be working on your if job. You, if you I love when frauditors say, I'm the boss. I'm your boss. You work for me. Not likely, Chili. I don't know. Are you living in uh, Nevada now, you bozo? Yeah, he's not a boss. He's a Bozo lives in his van, doesn't even have a permanent residence. You're a pitiful little man, Chili. Go ahead and arrest me and find out how quick I sue your ass. Sir. Just do it. Okay, okay I have to go walk the other way, the so I'm going to be walking over here. Go to the crime scene, Don't tell me what to do. 
Then you go that way. Don't tell me what to do. Then let's just start You're not walking. my boss. I'm giving you a lawful order. Let's start walking now. Let's go. We're going this way. Are you going to put your hands on me now? Lead me Bro, this way. Go. This way. Well, don't touch me, dude. I'm just, I'm just, dude, I'm just, I'm just standing here. I'm escorting you I'm to where you need to go. Are you guys going to surround me? Leave me alone. I'm escorting you to where There's you no need to go. There's no reason to do this. I'm not trying to fight anybody. I'm There's no victim here. There's no crime. You're just trying to dominate another Let's person. Just leave me alone. Okay, I can leave, but you don't have to walk okay, up on me. Go, so you so what's yet. the emergency? Is there an because emergency? Somebody's here? dead, sir. Is okay. that enough emergency? But where are they at? Let's go. Where are they at? Where are they at? Are they right here? Let's go, sir. Am I causing any problems? Predators always talk about de-escalation, but Chili? No, he wants to escalate. He's the one that's causing the problem right now. And it's all for clicks and views. It's all for the camera. It's all for YouTube. Sir, the only thing you're doing is losing your go, cool, acting like an sir, idiot. You're right acting like a dunce cap. Let's go, sir. You're on camera acting right like here, a moron, sir, bro. Come on, sir. No, look at this. I got one, two, three, three four cops. Oh, yeah. For what? What, what, what good's it doing? Area. What good's it doing? You're just going. You don't need to escort me. Go back to where you're going. I'm walking. I'm walking right now. Let's go. Now you're threatening me with violence. Now this guy's threatening me with violence. Now they're put. Now they're pushing me. Look. Look at their hands all over me. Look at that. Look at that. You're right. All we're escorting you. Don't touch me, boys. Don't. Well, there you have it, good people. Stupid is as stupid does, and they don't get much more stupid than Chili De Castro with his trifold, his indestructible trifold. Too bad that trifold didn't do him any good. He said he's losing money since he's been in jail. Nobody can run his company. Ah, oh, you poor little teen. Hey, let's take a look at the appeal that he lost last week. <laughs> Roll that clip, because I'm having a good time. All right, Jose DeCastro, 23CR0130159. Good morning. Good morning. Chris Dorham on behalf of Mr. DeCastro. He's president of the Nice to see you, Chris. Good morning. 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 Extraordinarily disrespectful fashion and referred to the marshal in the most inappropriate way. Uh, I then saw some other things that I consider very poor in my courtroom. Uh, and and uh, Mr. DeCastro was convicted. He, he is given six months in jail. One thing I know he's going to do today is for no other purpose, no matter what your uh, ruling is, he wants to say sorry. I've asked him if he'd say sorry to the court. I understand that. You may see it as that he should have apologized to the marshal. I don't see the marshal in here that he did this with. One thing I would note for the court is that the issues that I saw seem to be significant constitutional issues. The court addressed it, but what I did notice is that this should have been really briefed beforehand on First Amendment issues, so the court could have had that. That's uh, no fault of this case has nothing to do with the First Amendment. We're going to hear that in just a few moments. Yeah, Chile always wants to make it about the First Amendment and the fact that he's a journalist. But I tell you what, today's appearance is in stark contrast to last time. Look at him. He's only been in jail for what? Less than two weeks. He looks like he's a broken man. Of course, that could all be an act for him just to play sympathy to the judge. But it's not going to work today, sweetheart. Uh, I think it just should have been done beforehand. I also noticed that at time of sentencing, the state asked for a suspended sentence, but Mr. Castro just pushed it, pushed it, pushed it. And I see reasonably agitated and irritated the court into causing uh, a sentence that is now six months. This man, from what I can tell, Your Honor, has no prior felony convictions whatsoever. I'm doing that upon information and belief. I haven't run the scope. I know the state could do that, but I don't see that he has any felony convictions. He's made his appearances, and I think the time in jail has been shocking to him. I, I know it has because I can tell the reaction of the calls every day and how, how difficult it is for him. I think he pushed this and has uh, is learning a very, very difficult lesson in life. Um, I would ask the court to consider, based upon his ties to the community, with sister here, nephew, he has a whole bunch of people who wanted to come to court, which I 
uh, suggested maybe a very, you know, if it's, they're going to come here, be respectful and uh, mindful of what's already occurred in this court. But what I asked the court to do, given his lack of any serious criminal history, his remorse for his behavior in this courtroom during that trial, and uh, the fact that the state at the time did not want jail time, is I'd ask for an appeal bond, Your Honor, so that the issue can be, uh, these issues can be properly raised. And so with that, Your Honor, I asked for an OR, I would just say a reasonable bail. I, I would suggest that since he came to the trial, since he already has gotten a taste of what inappropriate behavior in a courtroom looks like and feels like, I would ask for a bail in the amount of ten or $20,000, appeal bond in the amount of ten or $20,000. With all the money that Chile is raising on his GoFundMe pages, why can't he afford a decent attorney? This guy is not well spoken. Yeah, well, Your Honor, as I can tell, he doesn't have any felonies. He either does or he doesn't, not as you can tell. And then he says, uh, Mr. DeCastro has a whole bunch of people in here supporting him. What kind of language is that for a top-notch attorney? A whole bunch of people? Let's carry on. Hey. Your Honor, may I respond orally? Typically, uh, pursuant to the Nevada rules of criminal practice, the state has 10 days uh, to file an opposition, but this was placed on calendar very quickly, so I would ask for leave of the court to answer um, orally. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, I'm in receipt of Mr. Orham's uh, motion for bail or any alternative for his own recognizance release. Um, I would note that NRS 178.488 um, does make it discretionary upon this court whether he would allow bail pending appeal. Um, Mr. DeCastro, there has been a briefing schedule set before Judge Levitt in district court on the appeal, but it's not set to be heard until July. Um, it's discretionary, Your Honor, as with a lot of the bail settings in Nevada, it's discretionary. And the state will oppose this, uh, this court setting a bail at this point. Um, there seems to be this assumption that this court sends Mr. DeCastro to six months um, in the Clark County Detention Center just because of his conduct or his inappropriate conduct in court. I would venture to say that Your Honor presided over the uh, over the trial where you found guilt beyond a reasonable doubt for both the obstructing a police officer and resisting a police officer. You saw his conduct um, in the, in the body-worn camera uh, by the officer, and I would venture to say, and I would submit to the court, that the six-month sentence that you imposed isn't simply for his behavior um, in court or his behavior to your marshals, but that it is an appropriate sentence um, placed upon the defendant by the court due to the charges and the evidence that you saw during trial. Um, there's also been this claim that Mr. You know, Castro is um, stay trouble-free um, for most of his life. I would venture to say, yes, he does not have felony convictions. He does not have gross misdemeanor convictions. But he does have pretty consistent contact with law enforcement. He does have a warrant out of Ohio for a trespass. Yeah, he sure does have a warrant out of Ohio. That's why he couldn't file a counterclaim on Dr. Dave, file a lawsuit. He couldn't come to Ohio. The poor lad. Because I sure would have turned him in, no doubt about that. Now let's listen a little bit more to the prosecutor. And remember, this prosecutor asked for a 90-day suspended sentence. Chili just couldn't shut his mouth, though, could he? have a warrant out of Ohio for a trespass. And I understand that's a piddly misdemeanor. However, it is a warrant status. Um, and he has a pending case in Las Vegas Justice Court um, for the very same offenses um, um, that the court heard um, during the trial uh, here. Um, as to the claim that, you know, hey, there were issues before trial and there should have been First Amendment issues um, raised or briefed prior to, Your Honor, defense counsel was able to argue the First Amendment defense. Um, Your, Your Honor heard these arguments both during the trial and during closing arguments. Um, Mr. DeCastro, when he took the stand, raised them um, as a defense. But Your Honor held, after listening to all of the evidence and applying the law, or found him guilty, um, regardless. This was not a First Amendment issue. The state stands by that. This was simply the defendant breaking the law. And he was sentenced accordingly for his behavior. It was a conduct, it was a consequence, an appropriate sentence um, imposed uh, by the court to the defendant. And so we would oppose any kind of change um, 
uh, or any kind of bail setting or an OR at this point. This is not a pretrial detention. This is not a pretrial, as Valdez Jimenez was cited also um, in defense counsel's motion. Valdez Jimenez stands for pretrial detention. Mr. DeCastro is no longer cloaked with the presumption of innocence. He has been found guilty beyond a reasonable doubt by your honor. And so at this point, I would ask um, that the six months uh, sentence that you imposed stand and that he remain in custody. Mayor, I'd like to read it. Yes, interpreter, quit reading. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, sir. Oh, dearie me. Sounds like Chili's going to be doing some sober living for six months. And he made a new friend. Just don't drop that soap in the shower, Chili. I'm telling you, Bubba will get you. There's an interpreter over there. Yeah, Mary speaking. Oh. oh, I'm talking about the oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the, the statute we cited is, uh, in fact, just discretionary to you to determine on appeal, pending appeal, whether uh, a bit of appeal bond can be issued. I, I hear the state. I, I recognize that you found guilty. I'm not trying to in any way argue that. On appeal, there are legitimate issues. The court can see that you know there are some First Amendment issues just from watching the video, things that a, a court could consider on appeal. And so that's the only uh, basis I'm, I'm bringing that up on. But given the fact that I think he really is contrite for, for what he's done. I disagree. Have you watched the videos that have been posted since he's been incarcerated? I have, I'm in a murder trial. Okay, so, uh, yeah. so I, I had a chance. So he's going to apologize to me in a minute, but that's not what he's saying on what he's publishing online in his phone calls from the jail. That's not what he's saying at all. And are you aware that he has a trial pending in Las Vegas Municipal Court? He has a case pending in Good Springs Justice Court where he continues to manufacture situations where he'll get arrested. Ah, Chili, the judge has been watching your little shows from jail. She's been listening in to you. Act like a big man. Perhaps you'll stop doing those live streams from jail, huh, Chili? Yeah, you're just trying to save your YouTube channel. I get it, but I don't think there's any hope in saving your channel. You'll be in that slammer for six months, boy! Your Honor, I recognize that's what he was sort of doing for a living, and this is, um, I, he's now being incarcerated. I, and so, what he's saying in the couple of weeks since he's been incarcerated, when he calls from the jail and publishes them on his website, he's not, but he's about to say me. Okay? So he's going to apologize to me now, but that's not what he's doing publicly, okay? Yes, Your Honor. I, I, I hear that. I, I won't have him speak at this time. But I would still ask you to consider that there may be legitimate issues. I think there are for Judge Levitt to consider. And I think these are sort of issues of first impression. That was the other thing I saw, is that in the state of Nevada, I can't find any case law that specifically talks about this filming of police officers. I really, what I would say to the court is I recognize that it's obnoxious behavior. That's what it appears to be. Whether it's protected is another thing that I think higher courts need to look at. But I can see if the court has already made up the court's mandate. Well, I, I, I want to be clear. I did not have a problem with him filming, and I said that when I sentenced him. That was not the issue. It was the safety issues that he created with his behavior. And I also did not sentence him because of his ridiculous behavior in court. Um, that wasn't why I sentenced him to jail. I sentenced him because I found him guilty beyond reasonable doubt, and I thought that was the appropriate sentence. I could have given him, given him 180 days on each count and ran it consecutive for a year in jail, but I didn't. Um, and his behavior was un in unacceptable in court, but that's not what I sentenced him for. I did not sentence him for his behavior in court. I sentenced him for his behavior for the two charges that he faced. Yes, Your Honor. All right, so your motion is denied. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there you have it, good people. Back to the slammer. Yeah, or in his case, it could be the pokey, or it could be both. Well, there you have it, good people. It doesn't get any better than that. Oh, I'm just so happy. I can't tell everybody. How happy I am!
That's what happens though when you run your smart mouth to the wrong cops. And then you run your smart mouth to the wrong judge. <laughs> oh, 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 that's all for now. I'm just so happy. I'm ready to bust. I've actually studied English and uh, I have a, over a 400 level education in English. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing, take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? Oh, no I'm reason really, to have- I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm gonna arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On public property? Yeah, we're asking you to leave and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, she's right in my face, guys. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, to record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Oh, is that like a law? It's against the law. Oh, what law is that? Funny, because I never heard about that. I pay for that uniform, I pay for that car, I'm the taxpayer, right? You work for me, right? You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You work for me, you are a public servant. You are a public servant, you work for me.